The focus of this lesson is on taking a logarithmic expression and writing it in condensed form. So if you have logarithms of the same base that are being added or subtracted together, you can pull them together as a single logarithm of a product or quotient depending on which operation is going on. And then also if you have a coefficient multiplier on your logarithm, you can pull that up as a power. So that's what we mean by condensed form is pull everything to product, quotient, and powers. So for our first example, we have 2 fifths times log base 2 of z plus 2 times log base 2 of y. So inside of those parentheses, we do have logarithms of the same base and we're summing them together. And so I know that I can do some simplification there as far as condensing is concerned. So for the first logarithm, it's log base 2 of z, so that doesn't change. For the second logarithm, we have 2 times log base 2 of y. Well, that 2 coefficient could come up as a power, so this becomes log base 2 of y to the second. And then keep the 2 fifths out in front. And then the sum of logs can be written as a single log, so still log base 2, but where we take the product so the product of z and y squared. Then the 2 fifths coefficient on this log base 2 can come up as a power. So this becomes log base 2 of z y to the second all raised to the 2 fifths. And then since you have a product there, each of the pieces of that product, so each of the factors of that product could be raised to that power, so this would be z to the two-fifths, and then y to the second raised to the two-fifths, but that just becomes y to the four-fifths if you multiply those powers together. And then basically you could rewrite that with radical notation where it's the fifth root, because that's the denominator of those rational exponents, of z raised to the second and y raised to the fourth power. And then you're done. That's as condensed as that logarithm will get. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So for this first logarithm, we have 2 times the natural log of x. That could be written as the natural log of x to the second, if you pull that coefficient up as a power. The same um, for the second logarithm, that 1 half could be a power. So this would be the natural log of x squared minus 1 raised to the 1 half minus natural log of x squared plus 1 raised also to the 1 half, since there was a coefficient of 1 half in front. But then if I rewrite that with radical notation, this is the natural log of x squared plus the natural log of x squared minus 1 to the 1 half is the square root of x squared minus 1 minus natural log of x squared plus 1 to the 1 half is also the square root of x squared plus 1. And then for this first two expressions of logarithms, we have a sum with the same base, so base e, since it's natural logs. So I can put those together as a single log of a product. So the log of x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1. And then that's minus the logarithm of the square root of x squared plus 1. But that's a difference of logs of the same base, so base e again. So I can rewrite that as a single logarithm, but it's a quotient this time. So the first piece is x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1. But the second piece will be my denominator is the square root of x squared plus 1. 
And then that completes the simplification as far as getting this logarithm in condensed form.